A basic technique to separate solid from liquid is vacuum filtration. We can use an aspirator to apply vacuum to our filter flask. The Hirsch funnel with SEPTA has been placed on the Hirsch bed filter flask. And we also need for this method of separation filter paper, which can be picked up from the general purpose bench. We first, before putting the paper onto the Hirsch funnel, want to turn the valve controlling the aspirator completely on. Not halfway on, but turn on the water completely. So we will start to hear vacuum being applied, the noise of the water. We turn the valve on all the way so we have a maximum vacuum applied through this red hose. We now take our filter, plate, filter paper, place it in the Hirsch funnel, wet that paper with whatever solvent is being used to wash the solid. In this case we are using water. We wet again the paper with water. We do not need a lot, just a couple drops at least to wet the paper. You, hear, you heard the difference in the sound of the aspirator as soon as I added the water. The paper had seated itself onto the Hirsch funnel and therefore quieted the aspirator. Now our solution that has solid and liquid can now be separated so we have the filtrant, the water going through to filter the paper, and the filtrate, the solid, being caught. We would want to swirl the solution so the solid is suspended, and then as quickly as possible, transfer that solution to the filter paper. We can see that water is being brought through the filter paper through the, by the vacuum, and we have a solid that's being collected on the filter paper. An important part of vacuum filtration is always washing of the solid to remove any impurities or solvents from that solid. So I'm using just a little bit, one to two mils of water, to wash that container that had the original suspension. We stir again or agitate and pour that through the Hirsch funnel. The important point is to use a lot of small washes, not a few large washes. So again, I can use another one to two mils. And do it again, a third time. But never using more than one or two mils for each of the washes. Three washes is typically satisfactory. We leave that solid on the Hirsch funnel so that the air can continue to bring, be brought by the solid, further drying the solid. In many cases, we will often use a second solvent that's more volatile to give a final wash of our solid if we're using water. Because water, as we know, does not evaporate readily. But if methanol or acetone can be used, we might use that as a final rinse of the solid so that we can more easily dry it. 